Hey y'all, so I made one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast or brunch. It's a potato skillet or a potato bowl, however you want to say it. Either way, it's filled with potatoes, veggies, and whatever proteins you like. And then I like to top mine with the egg. I normally do a sunny side egg, but this time I did a fried egg. But as you can see, I left that yolk nice and runny, just how I like it. But by all means, you can do a scrambled egg or any way you like it. But look at this. That looks good. That looks perfect. You can see the spinach and all the peppers and the onions and the potatoes. I used turkey sausage. You can also add in turkey bacon. I've added so many different things. Broccoli. You can add in some zucchini. You can do sweet potatoes. You literally can create a breakfast skillet and throw in the whole refrigerator if you want to. <laughs> it's all good. It would not disappoint. I like mine kind of spicy as well. So a lot of times I used uh, diced jalapenos. So here I am, I just began to peel and cut my onion. I diced these up to the size that works for me, but you can leave them in chunkier sizes. Trust me, that is just amazing as well. You can also do fresh garlic, but here I just did onion and then I did my yellow, red, and orange peppers. I did not have any green peppers. Otherwise, I would have used all color peppers for sure. So here I just diced up my peppers, the green, red, and yellow. I made them fairly small, but you can make them bigger. Chunkier veggies are always a plus for me. But for this particular breakfast bowl, I went ahead and made them thinner. So after I got these all diced up, I got them ready for my skillet. Next, I started on my butter ball turkey sausage. I just sliced these up to my desired thickness. You can make yours thinner or thicker. I got a pan on the stove on medium, around medium high heat and added in some olive oil. Then I put my sausages in on one side, then I flipped them over on the other side until they were golden brown, just like this. I like a nice sear on my sausages for sure. So then once I finished that, I pulled them out of the skillet. Then I added in my peppers and onions into that same skillet, mixed that up a little bit until it was fragrant. And then I added in my potatoes. My potatoes were cut, peeled and cut earlier and uh, soaked in cold water for about two hours to remove some of the starch. I got a little bit of piece of uh, turkey sausage in there, so I just removed that quickly, then added in my seasonings. I used soul seasoning and Cajun seasoning. You can get both of these seasonings in the link in my bio. They are Club Kitchen Signature Seasonings, and when I tell you, it goes on absolutely everything. The soul is a perfect all-purpose seasoning, and the Cajun has that perfect bit of kick that we all love. So I got it all seasoned up real well, and then I began to mix everything together so that it was incorporated evenly. I also added in one of my little faves to add on a lot of things too is Montreal Chicken by Grill Mates. Trust me, those flavors all together with Club Kitchen Spices just works. It works so well. At this point, I would have added in my jalapenos and let them get a sear on them too or any other veggie that may take a little bit longer. I've also added sweet potatoes too at this time, so they would have to go in about now if you wanted to add that. So you just wanna cover your potatoes and peppers and then use, you should turn your heat to medium low. I always clean up clean the pan myself as I go, as you saw me there, from just simple little splatters that happen while cooking. Next, I gave those potatoes a quick little mix and then added in my spinach. When I added in my spinach, I added in my garlic lemon pepper seasoning. You can also get that in my bio. Clearly, the full complete four pack is perfect on so many different things. The flavors inside Taco Tuesday, the rosemary that's in Taco Tuesday goes so well with potatoes. You are going to love it. So as you see, I have now used a complete four pack for my breakfast bowl. I got my spinach in and mixed up. I decided to add a little more spinach because as we know, it wilts down to almost nothing. 
So I added in more spinach, got that all mixed up before adding in my topping. Wait, let's do a taste test. Now, let's taste it for me. It needed a little bit more seasoning, so I went in with a little bit more soul and a little more Taco Tuesday, just to give it that flavor, that perfect flavor that we all love. Next, I added in some chili crunch oil for that bit of spice, since I didn't add the jalapenos. The Cajun definitely made it spicier, but this chili crunch oil, crunch oil did a number, y'all. Next, you add in your sausage back to your pan and get that all mixed in well. Then we're gonna simply just top it with cheese, cover it, and get ready to eat. This is breakfast or brunch. It's perfect. And this is how it went down in Club Kitchen. Now all you have to do is serve it up and enjoy.